Okay, Matthew, I'm 2 0 win here against Newton in the, the uh, NFL League Cup. Yep. Give us your thoughts on the, on the performance. Well, we won. It's a cup competition. We won um, two goals and a clean sheet, so that's the main thing. I wasn't overly impressed with us. It's one of them games we had all the ball, but you know I didn't think we were doing anything with it. And and it always the longer it goes on, it becomes more dangerous. Um, obviously, the interruption with, with Rory's injury um, didn't help, you know. And, and we just hope that he's okay and it's not as bad as first feared. But you know, as as always happens when when these things happen, it is generally. 99 times out of 100 it's as bad as your first fear because when, when people are in that much pain and agony and, and stretch it off and in an ambulance it's going to be bad you know and it took you know after that I just felt we weren't getting the ball in the box enough I didn't think we were playing enough intensity but you have to give Newton credit for that because they came they had a game plan they put everybody behind the ball and they let us have it in our half and when we were trying to thread and, and create things through the lines there was, there was a lot of bodies there so it made it difficult for us but look once we got the goal, I felt you know we expanded and sendings off didn't help them obviously, and I could give the worst cliche in football. It's real difficult to play against ten, and it's even harder against nine because they've nothing to lose. But look, give me a game against nine any day of the week, and we still didn't quite move it quick enough, getting it wide because that was where where the overload was. But when we did, you know, we looked a bit better, and there was you know it could have and should have scored six or seven by the end. Is it hard sometimes when you play against teams that are? generally better than you so you're sort of working harder off the ball tonight you have to work with the ball is it hard to change that mindset sometimes or is it just it's football you have to play it's it? football yeah it's football you have to play it look we we want to play like that but like in our league it is difficult I suppose because in our league I think we would get pressed a bit more and then that creates spaces and then people can move and, and it triggers our movement it's hard when other teams don't do that but look I could be giving away all our secrets now and everybody might go and play like that against as well so a bit um, so yes while it's different it's something you have to adapt and adjust to and it's, it's about moving the ball quickly it's no different you know we, we were saying on Saturday how quickly we moved the ends limp we shouldn't have to do any different but these things happen we've won now so I can I can moan away a bit about it this last few weeks we've talked about good performances and no results hmm. tonight maybe the performance wasn't as good but we got the result and that's all that matters at the end of the day. and that is exactly um, what matters tonight because it was all about making sure we're in the draw for the next round because you don't want to be that team that gets put out you know, there before it goes. We don't know what's going to happen draw-wise, so we'll, we'll take that as it comes. Obviously, whenever the draw will probably be on Saturday evening, and we've got to look forward now. Harry Anderson came off the bench, got two goals. Yeah. It's his, probably his, his competitive debut since coming back to the club, so it was good to see him get off the mark. It was, yeah, because, being honest, he hasn't really done much you know, in pre-season. And last night, I sent him with the reserves thinking... Go then, and I knew Linfield were putting a young team out, and I thought a couple of goals there would, you know, help him with his confidence. It didn't happen; his performance wasn't good enough. We told him, but Harry's 18, and you know, sometimes you can just, oh, you know, like today I was frustrated with him before I got here, and I, and I went and the, and I purposely pulled him out, and we didn't go in my office for a chat. We went on the pitch and we talked a few things, a few things through. Um, you know, it was positive chat. It wasn't like, oh, you've got, you know, this, that, and the other. It was there. And I, and I gave him a couple of little exercises to do during the warm-up or after the one when the boys had gone in. And I said, you just, you know, he feels like that as a centre-forward. Sometimes it hasn't just happened. It's only been pleasing. Like, say he hasn't played a league game. I just don't feel like I'm going to score. I said, you will score. But it's, it might come. It might be a ricochet. And it might just drop two and you, and you can't help but score. But you know, there's other sides of the game that can contribute if you're not scoring, you know, the, the work rate and, and obviously we reference Lee as that. Um and thankfully, you know, it came back off the bar and, and it, he reacted brilliantly and he and it was a good leap he got over the keeper and then after that he looked a different play. Than what we've seen all pre season, it's like getting older, he was working close to Lee, he obviously he's got his second goal in and around what we've talked about, what we felt we were missing, you know, them little ricochets that are in and around the six yard box, rebounds, parries, go and put them in the goal. Um, and I was delighted for him because he's a young lad that we've a lot of time for. Just sometimes he, he like he hasn't got on in them games, but he was away with the 21s for a week. And now what I want him to do is take on board what, what I've said to him, what he's thought when he's went out and played, the feeling of scoring two good goals and, and using that as a springboard now to give us more success for the rest of the season. You know, this is not just oh, Saturday and if he doesn't do well Saturday, you know, it's, he's back there. It isn't because he's 18. You know, this happens, you know, when we talk about it a lot with a young team, 
you know, we said about George and Oshin, them three are the same age, George, Oshin and Harry. And I think we sometimes forget because they're playing week in, week out that some weeks they're not going to play as well. But it's not because they're bad players. It's bad just just having a bad day. They might be trying too hard. They might be trying to do things that maybe isn't their game. But I felt, I actually felt the three of them combined really well when Harry came on, probably because they've played a lot of youth football together and they knew each other's runs. And, you know, we, we probably played George and Oshin in different positions than what, you know, generally they would play. But... It's something we have to look at because with Rory getting injured today, somebody might have to play, we might have to change shape. Chris Lavery's out injured, so we now don't have you know an outside left as such if Rory's if he's out. Um, and we have to hope that the young lads can come in as they did and, and do well. Speaking of Saturday, I'm away to Carrick Rangers then. Obviously, it's, it's, as every game is, it's a big game. Yeah, I no doubt about it. Look, they've come off a back. I know they're playing tonight, but Saturday they had a, they had a tremendous performance, a tremendous result. I know Stewie well, I know the way he'll get his team fired up for the game and, and our job now is to go match that, to deliver the performance that we've delivered the previous two games from today in Linfield and Lyme and go and see where that takes us on Saturday. We have to match that intensity and, and, and beat it and then hope that our good play is better than their good play. Good man, thank you.